Many people have asked us, how can I earn extra cash in order to purchase property for a homestead? Or some people just wanna know how to fire their boss and work from home. Well, today we're gonna to be going over three keys on how to add multiple streams of income and buy your dream homestead. Let's do it. Hey there, YouTube. My name is Bo Brotherton with Better Together Life. Since we've started our 30 videos in 30 days, we've talked a lot about how to actually get that dream homestead for you. I don't know if you've noticed this, but a similar characteristic of many, many homesteaders is that they know how to be a jack of all trades and they add multiple streams of income in order to pay for feed, in order to pay for seed or barter, or just add more cash into their wallet and be able to buy stuff like more animals or land. So not putting all of your eggs in one basket in terms of what type of income you have. Get it? Eggs in the, in the basket, home chickens. You put the eggs in the bat, don't, yeah. That was a bad joke. Now one thing that I do need to make very clear is whenever I'm talking about multiple streams of income, I am not, I am not talking about having two plus part-time jobs. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. Not to say anything wrong with that. That's just not multiple streams of income. That's just, that's just working your butt off in order to, to pay for your bills, which sometimes you gotta do. I agree, you sometimes need to work as many jobs as you can. But today I'm gonna to be talking about three things that can get you out of that rat race and get out of having multiple part-time jobs. And it can get you some financial freedom and work towards, over time, getting onto the dream homestead that you lie in bed all night dreaming about, that you look on Instagram and you get all sad because you're not there yet. Because trust me, I know you because you were me. That is the exact same thing that I was five years ago. Now I promise we're gonna get into the top three keys, but we really gotta do some foundational work here before we jump into those. We talked about this a little bit yes in yesterday's video, is finding your why. And what I mean by why is really just that, like W-H-Y, like the why, like why do you do something? There's, there's a reason for everything. Why is it that you do it? And what you need to do is you need to really work and do some either prayer or meditation, whatever you wanna do, and really find out why you want to homestead, that's good, but do it before this. Find out why you're going to bust your butt and add a multiple streams of income. We're gonna be talking about side hustles here. You really need to know why you're busting your butt doing a side hustle. Because I guarantee you that when life gets hard, when you get tired of adding another stream of income, adding another side hustle, you're going to want to quit. We talked about that yesterday. That was kind of a, a thing that I wanted to get you warmed up on is finding that why. Okay, I wanna help you just a little bit here and give you an example of why, of what our why was. When we started our doTERRA business, we needed a really strong why. And the biggest why that we had is that we, and it's still, it's still the big, big picture of us. We wanted to fully fund a field worker family in an unreached people group. There's, that, I don't wanna go into details of that, but there are people are in the world that have never heard the name of Jesus. And that is a big passion of ours is that we wanna be able to share that with them. We wanna fully fund a field worker family in one of these people groups. Then we actually broke that down into more like tangible whys that we wanted to do. Is it first was we, a big why of why we started doTERRA is that we wanted for me to come home. I was tired of working a nine to five job and not being able to see my kids and just getting stressed out. And then it became, once I came home, there was a bigger why, another why, and we wanted to purchase land. And then we wanted actually to move onto that property. So. These are the whys that whenever times got hard, that helped motivate us to get to that next step, to push through, to be able to make that extra income, to be able to help someone else with essential oils. And then it got even more. You have to have the why. That's a key foundation. 
Kelly made everybody, all the dogs mad and they're barking, so we're going to the next location. Oh. Kelly just woke morning. up. I've been awake. Well, they don't know what time it is, so I've it's, I can awake. just, I can just say this is 6.30 in the morning and you just woke up. This is my, this is my 6.30 in the morning. It is not 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> So Kelly's I've been up, I've been working in my bed with no children around and it feels so weird. Well good. It's good, but it's weird. Uh, Alright, Kelly's gonna go drink coffee and I'm gonna finish this video. Okay, the first key to adding multiple streams of income is, I'm sorry to say this, you have to start with one decent income stream first. If you do not have one income that pays for 100% of your bills, then you should not be adding a second one. I'm sorry, I know that that's gonna make me the bad guy for some of y'all that are just really struggling and they're like, I just want to, I wanna make a little bit, I wanna make more money. You need to get a full-time job that will pay for all of your bills before you add a second one. And when I say a job, yes, I, I am referring to that you need to get a J-O-B. Because here's the thing, you need to be able to have income so that you don't stink. Because the hardest thing about creating a side hustle or a business is that you're just, you're hurting for the money. This needs to be something that is easy for you to do, that you don't mind doing for free. We're gonna talk about that a little here in a bit, but it is, it is something that when you're adding a, a side hustle, an extra stream of income, you need to have a job that pays for everything. Now, you don't have to have a job. You could own a business and you're just like, you're, you don't, you're not liking it, so you wanna add the next thing, that's fine. Own a business in or, that pays for all of your bills. That's kinda like what Kelly and I have, is that we have doTERRA that pays for all of our bills, but we just wanted some extra stuff and I'm really into doing video stuff and YouTube and sharing. I have a passion to be able to teach people and to share what I know and that is something that I want. So that's why YouTube is like a side hustle and it also functions sex because we're able to find people like you that are really interested in adding a stream of income but don't know how to do it. So you wanna come to us and say like, hey, will you help me build an essential oil doTERRA business? And then we can help you do that and, and support you and just get you a jump start. When, if you wanna start a soap business, super cool. There's so many different ways to add multiple streams of income, but you have to start with one. Get one good one, then work on the next. Okay, the second key to this, I, I feel like I'm gonna be a bad guy in all these things. The second key, because none of this is fun. It's just not fun to do this. The second key to adding multiple streams of income is spend less than you make. Be debt free. Listen to Dave Ramsey's podcast and get on a budget. Get on Dave Ramsey's cash envelope system. Spend your money on paper before the month begins. You have to, have to, have to be on a budget and spend less than you make. You have to cut your lifestyle down because if you're just spending money at Starbucks, on Netflix, on going out to eat, wasting money on magazine subscriptions or all this stuff, then it's going to be very difficult to put money into your side hustle, your multiple stream of income because you're bleeding all over the place with the rest of your life. So you have to cut out a lot of expenses in order to invest into a new baby that you gotta raise. This is what Dave Ramsey talks about is that with, with a new season in life, you have a storm coming over you and you need to get your umbrella. So if you're about to have a baby, then you know, if you've had a baby, you know how this is. If you're about to have a baby, is your first one, you know that there's a storm coming, you need to get your umbrella, you need to cut down your expenses because having a baby is expensive. And you never know what kind of complications could come out of birthing this baby. So you need to cut a lot of things. Dave Ramsey sometimes even says you need to cut out your retirement for those nine months until the baby comes and the mama's healthy, baby's healthy. And then once that happens and everybody's safe and healthy, 
then you can go back into retirement or do whatever you want that you can put down the umbrella and move on to the next thing. Well, that's what it is whenever you're trying to add a multiple stream of income is there's a that's you're trying to raise a baby. You're trying to birth a baby and you don't know what kind of complications are going to happen. So in order to make that baby successful, cut out as many expenses as you can. Keep your four walls up, food, lights, transportation, clothing, until it starts making a little bit of money. And once you get to making $100 a month, you can double that and make $200. Once you're making $200 a month, you can double that and you can make $500. Once you're making $500 a month, you can double that and make $1,000 and on and on. That is the key. So that is the key. First, start with one, then cut out your expenses. You can probably you should probably cut out your expenses before that, but you know what I'm saying. And then number three, let's do it. Last one. Well, shoot, I think I gave away number three previously. I should have looked at my notes fully. Number three is side hustles. <laughs> okay, I talked about that several times. I brought side hustles into this, but number three is side hustles, and now we're gonna break down what side hustles are. Sorry, y'all, 30 videos in 30 days, you gotta let me make some mistakes, so here we go. So now it is time to actually dive into what a side hustle is and what kind of stream of income you can add to it. So let's just break this term down, side and hustle. Side, of course, is it's something that you're going to be doing on the side, extra. It is gonna be after hours of your nine to five. It's gonna be before all of your kids wake up. It's going to be on the weekends. It is in addition, on the side, to what you are fully doing for that first income stream. It is not you going to your full-time job and then working on your business. That will get you fired, that should get you fired because it is called stealing time from your employer. Don't do it. And it leads us to our, the second word is hustle. Hustle, I, I mean, I hope that you guys can just get this, that the key is you gotta work hard. You do, you have to hustle, hustle, hustle. Whenever I first started this YouTube channel, I would have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to edit the previous day's videos in order to get this going. Now that we're a little bit more established, I don't have to do that as much. I get to kind of just enjoy my life here. But one thing I am hustling is we have our full-time job. We are trying to build a homestead and I've chosen to do 30 videos in 30 days. So I am, I am still in the hustle mode. If this is something that you want, if you want, Dad, if you want to come home and be with your family, I'm talking to you. I hope you're hearing me. If you want to come home and be with your family, if you want to fire your boss, whatever kind of side hustle God has put in that mind of yours, in the heart to where you just stay up late and you're thinking about it and, and that you can't stop thinking about it at work, stop making excuses and get it done. For mom, if this is something that you're the, the homestead dreamer, figure out a way to motivate your husband to get off the couch and to help you. You have to hustle. This is what it is about. You have to bust your butt. So cancel that Netflix or that Disney Plus subscription that you just now signed up for and get to work. Okay, I went off on a rant right there. We're gonna land the plane. If, if you need some ideas on what kind of side hustles you can you can start, you have no idea, uh, go and download my free ebook, Homestead Moneymakers. In that ebook, there is 50 ideas on how to make extra money from your homestead. Or if you want a little bit more ideas, it's a really cheap ebook that I wrote. It's only four bucks. It's Get Off Your Tail in Homestead. And in there, I have 100 ideas of how to earn extra income. I'll put all the links down below right here. Go check those out. I, I think they could help you. Okay, I hope that some of this got you thinking. That's really my only goal is just to get your brain going and getting some ideas. So I hope that helped a little bit. Again, go download 50 Homestead Money Makers. It's free. Or if you want to check out Get Off Your Tail in Homestead, check that ebook out. All the links are down below. Thank you guys for listening and listening to my rants. We'll see you tomorrow.